こんにちは、みなさん。今日、私たちは、日本語を勉強しています。Hello, everyone. Today, we are studying Japanese. If you have any questions, then feel free to stop and ask me at any time. Let's get started. Ichi ni san yan go. Ichi ni san yan go. Ichi ni san yan go. Kare ra wa tanjoubi party de keiki o tabete imas. Karera wa tanjoubi party de keiki o tabete imas. Tabete tanjoubi Let's see, symbol for language. I don't know, maybe you can think of this as a hanging pinata or something, I don't know. And that, I, I, we've seen that word in some symbols before. And we've seen this when I'm talking about like bongo, like counting symbols, we've seen this symbol used in that. I've also seen this symbol used for day words. Let's see, carrera. Karera. Oh. Kare. Karera wa kaso party ni ikimas. Ikimas. Kaso. Karera. Karera wa beach party de odotte imas. Karera wa beach party de odotte imas. Karera odotte. Orenji wa kudamono no issue des. Issue. I remember this is supposed to be something about like type of object or type of something. Ishu, Japanese to English, English. Issue kind species variety. Orange wa kudamono no issue des. Kudamono Ishu. 
uh, so that's for that one. Uh, Ringo wa kudama no no ishu des. Kudama no ishu. Ringo wa kudama no no ishu des. And then Orange wa kudama no no ishu des. Orange wa kudama no no ishu des. Zubon Skato wa fuku no ishu des. Fuku ishu. スカートは服の一種です。ズボンは服の一種です。服一種。ズボンは服の一種です。彼女は昼ご飯にスープとサンドイッチを食べています。彼女は昼ご飯にスープとサンドイッチを食べています。彼女は。昼ご飯にスープとサンドイッチ。食べて imas. She has soup and sandwich for lunch. I noticed they use knee for this. So I was kind of wondering if they were implying like lunch as in lunch time or. This, is this one of the well lunch pe period or Kanojo wa Hiru Gohan ni Suputo Sandoichi o Tabete Imas Tabete Hiru Gohan Karewa Desato wa Tabemashtaga Sarada wa Tabemasen Deshta Karewa Desato wa Tabemashtaga Sarada wa Tabemasen Deshta Karewa Desato wa Tabemashtaga Sarada wa Tabemasen Deshta食べましたか。彼はデザートは食べましたが、サラダは食べませんでした。彼はデザートは食べましたが、サラダは食べませんでした。Tabemasen desta. Let's see that. Desta.
Tebe masen test testa denar it testa let's see testa conjugator Oh, des desta is a past tense, past polite of des. That's right. So it's not to be able to. It's des is when something's true. So, so they did do something in the past, or they did not do something in the past. So it's, they're just stating it. Okay. So. Kare kare wa desato wa tebe ma kare wa desato wa tebe mashita ka sarada wa tebe masen deshita. Kanojo wa desato ni chokoreto o tabete imas. Kanojo wa desato ni chokoreto o tabete imas. Kanojo wa desato ni chokoreto o tabete imas. Kanojo tabete. Kare da wa hiru gohan o tsukutte imas. Fuku, that symbol and that symbol makes it. And then. Ah, okay, that's not the same symbol. Kare da wa. 昼ごはんを作っています。カレラは昼ごはんを作っています。あ、昼ごはん作ってカレラ。私たちは夕ごはんを作っています。私たちは夕ご飯を作っています。私たちは夕ご飯を作っています。夕ご飯、私たち作って。私は朝ご飯を作っています。私は朝ごはんを作っています。私、朝ごはん、作って。飛行機に乗るには、パスポートを持っ
ていなければいけません。飛行機に乗るにはパスポートを持っていなければいけません。飛行機。飛行機に乗るにはパスポートを持っていなければいけません。飛行機に乗るにはパスポートを持っていなければいけません。飛行機に乗るにはパスポートを持っていなければいけません。飛行機に乗るにはパスポートを持っていなければいけません。The wrong me, wa. Ni wa. JLPTN3. By the way, the way this N system works, if you're curious, is N5 is sort of seen as like the most essential words to learn. Uh, uh, N4 is like the second most essential words to learn. Uh, and this is both on how to pronounce them and how to write them, both the hiragana, katakana, and kanji. And、um, it goes all the way down to N1. If I understand it correctly, like,、uh, like a college educated person would probably know up to N2 or something like that. Would have N2 down pat. And basically, once you start getting down to N2 and N3, I think. You can speak most, understand most of what's in a newspaper, basically. For the purpose of, in order to, Niwa. Watashi wa sono koza o kai yaku suru. Niwa, do shitare ika. What should I do in order to close the account? I've never seen that translation of Niwa before. See, there, there is really no difference with the normal use of the scope topic particle wa, except that with ni wa and de, de wa and to wa, and any other combination, the scope of this expense, sentence expands to include the particle itself. I will use scope to mean topic here. Personally, I prefer the former, but most people are used to the latter. The example sentence you choose might not be the best to illustrate the difference since the first is a classic example of a sentence lacking a scope. This is the type of sentence used for showing ex existence possession phenomenon. Toshokan, toshokan ni, eh, to, toshokan ni hon ga aru. There are books in the library. Aru being the、uh, 
plain version of Arimas. Toshoka Nihon ga aru. Or, uh, Ame ga fute iru. It's raining. Iru being the uh, plain version of imas. So, in the interest of battle attack, let's change the. It, so, in the interest of better tackling your question, let's change the example sentence. Watashi wa. Watashi wa kare to. Awa. Awa na kata. Watashi wa kare to. Kare to wa. Awana kata. Watashiwa is in parentheses because it could easily be left out, okay? This is what is known as implied scope in Japanese. As you know, if the scope is, is understood by all parties, you have to, the option of leaving it out entirely. So let's break down these two sentences. You see, first, while in the first sentence there's only one scope, the second one actually has two. What the? Watashi wa kare to awa nakata. Scope implied I. Statement didn't meet with him. Oh. Awa, awa nakata. Okay. Then watashi wa kare to wa awa nakata. Other, outer scope. Implied, I, inner scope, explicit, with him. Statement, didn't meet. <coughs> now, as for what effect this has, the wa often adds a hint of comparison or contrast. As, uh... Repet Tom's mentioned, while well, both of the above sentences translate to, I didn't meet with him, the second hints that although you didn't meet with him, you may have met with someone else. Put it into a diagram, the second sentence looks like this. Okay, uh. Kare to awanakata. Okay. Or. Hoka no dare koto? At, okay. The dash screen out of it signifies the implied outer scope and the solid purpose of the inner rectangle signifies right? the explicit defined inner scope. Let's consider another pair of examples using ni and niwa. Okay. This should help. Kanojo wa Yoro Chi Yeah Yoro That's uh Oh Yoro Yoro pa Kanajo wa Europa ni iku. Scope she statement will go to Europe. Versus Kanajo wa Yoropu ni wa iku. Outer scope she, inner scope Europe. Statement will go. Both of these sentences say she will go to Europe, but the one with the to versus to wa example. But as with the to versus to wa example above, the second, by using the ni wa, hints at the fact that while she will go to Europe, 
she may not go to somewhere else, say the Middle East. So using uh, Niwa in instead of Ni implies contrast, contrasting something. Admittedly, this is a tough one for people coming from I mean, English-speaking backgrounds since in English we might use only information to mark the difference by stressing the contrast. Let's see. Kareto awa nakata. I didn't meet with him. Kareto wa awa nakata. I didn't meet with him. Or, uh, she will go to Europe. Or, she will go to Europe. Of course, the above stresses may not be natural in every situation, but they should hint at how English and Japanese handle these situations differently. So, in this example, now that we know a little more about Niwa, Hikoki ni noru ni wa Hikoki ni noru ni wa Pasporto o Mote Si pasporto o mote i nakareba ag ikemasen. So let's see, I believe that's i i na i nakareba. Is that from iku? I nake areba if you don't have So what's the root word of that? I na kereba. I know kereba is usually the negative uh, provisional conditional. Oh, the so root word is iru. Oh, so so this is just imas in the provisional conditional tense. And there's no polite version of it, there's only, uh... So idu to exist, aka to mean to have as well. I think it's because we're talking about a person having it. They use e, based it off of iru and not uh, aru. So, 
飛行機に乗るに乗るにはパスポートを持っていなけ,いなければいけません。So I wonder if it's Niwa because we're, we're contrasting the having something versus not having something. So I wonder if that's why they use Niwa. How do you use wa ni, ni tote in ni wa? Ni wa in de wa. Might be an intro. The wa is used for topic markers in Japanese. One other aspect of wa is that it's often used for comparison and contrasting statements. This is confusing since comparison and contrast is often not specifically stated. Uh, at atame ga it. Tai Toki wa Kono Kusuria o Nande Kudasai. Please use this medicine in case you get a headache. The Atama ga ita Oh, Atama ga itai. Toki is followed by the particle wa. So, atama ga itai toki. toki, the case of your head hurting. Itai is the uh, word for used for pain generally. Sort of like ow. The, imp the implementation here is that you there is a contrast between the case of your head hurts and when it does not. So, compared to the time when you don't have a headache, please take this pill in the case you do have a headache. So, head hurt in the case of head hurting. Wa then Kono Kutsuria o uh, th This is like the sentence inside the sentence we were studying before where uh Using things like Koto to talk about the concept of things where here we just have a sentence and then wa and then like an outer sentence surrounding that With, so, atama ga itai toki is the inner sentence, and then wa kono kutsurio nande kudasai is the outer sentence. So how would you use niwa, a combination of the particles ni and wa? Niwa is used to emphasize parts of a sentence. As mentioned before, wa is used for comparison, contrasting a part of the sentence. Let's use an example sentence from before, but use niwa instead this time. Let's use, okay. 
頭が痛い時にはこの薬を飲んでください。Please take this medicine only when you have a headache. The phrase conveys nearly the same being, but the sentence puts more emphasis and restrictions on the conditions described before Niwa. So the emph- emphasis that you should only take this medicine in case of a headache. Niwa strictly limits its, its, Niwa strictly limits its or the part of the sentence that comes before it. Since it combines the topic marker wa with ni, which determines time and place. Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's important. Let's read that again. The, uh, The phrase conveys nearly the same being, but the sentence puts more emphasis and restrictions on the conditions described before Niwa. So, this emphasis that you should only take this medicine in the case of a headache. Niwa strictly limits it the part of the sentence that comes before it, since it combines the topic marker wa with ni, which determines time and place. So you talk about this topic, and then you use ni for this particular topic, and then you use ni saying when this occurs, aka when this time occurs. So that's how it gets sort of ni wa, and that sentence gets the only implication. While the other one, when it was just wa, we're just saying uh, you can take this if you have this happen. So I think that's what's happening here. It's, uh, Hikoki ni noru, or, uh, getting on the plane. What? So the sentence is going to be talking about it, and it's ni wa and not wa, meaning you this can, this will only happen if the following happens, and the following being paspoto o mote. Uh, Passport o mote inakereba. Basically, the like if if you have the passport, and then okay, if, if you don't have the passport, actually is what it is. If you if you don't have the passport, then ikemasen. It's、uh, not po- possible. What's not possible? That's up here.、Uh, bo- uh, getting on the to the plane. Okay. I think I understand Niwa a lot better than I did before. So, Hiko. Hikoki ni noru niwa pasporto o mote i nakereba ikemasen. Hikoki naru mote. デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。デザートを食べる前に。サラダを食べなければいけませんデザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけませんお
デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。If I remember correctly, I, I know、uh, some statements we, we would have like the verb followed by no mae meaning to say that before this verb, but other statements、uh, for grammatical reasons they sometimes drop the no. But I, I think it still has the same like, context. It's like Taberu Mae versus Taberu no Mae. I, th- I think it still means grammatically the same thing. It's just、uh, it's not proper grammar to use no in this, but for this particular verb with Mae, from how I understand it. デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。Or it's either not grammatically correct or it's just not necessary and it, and it is grammatically correct. But that's what I've noticed pattern wise. It gets used like that. デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。デザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけませんデザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけませんデザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけませんデザートを食べる前にサラダを食べなければいけません。前食べる食べなければいけません。So let's see. Here we're talking about the action of、uh, the デザートを食べる前 And then, ni, we're talking about.、Uh, so, this is uh, uh, bef- before eating, and then of what?、Uh, the, this noun right here,、uh, desato. So, before eating dessert, what's before eating dessert? Sarada o tabe nakareba ikimasen. If you. If you don't eat the salad, you don't have the option to, for that statement of if, if you don't eat the salad, aka you have to eat the salad. So you have to eat the salad. And then, and this, this says that this statement, some, this, my says something about that comes before this statement is about to come up. And this is what it is eating the salad. You have to eat the salad. So you have to eat the salad before you eat the dessert. So, desato o taberu mae ni sarada o tabe nakareba ikemasen. And、oh, you, you could wonder why, why, why this just uses ni, why the other one used ni wa. Because the other one was bef- boarding the plane, and then they had ni wa. And this. Because... Hmm. 走らないで学校の中では歩かなければいけません
走らないで学校の中では歩かなければいけませんはしらない Remember correctly, that was a, some conjugation of running, but I'm trying to remember which conjugation. Oh, that's the present indicative、uh, plain negative of. Running. We're used to,、uh, let's see, the polite positive, which is hashirimas. So instead of so they're using、uh, just the negative to say don't run, hashiranai. And you notice that it's someone older saying it to someone younger, so that's probably also another reason why they're just using the plain instead of the polite. はしらないで、学校のな中では。I saw some article there I wanted to read when I was looking this up. ニト。では It's not this article, okay. にわぶんでは De and ni are used to indicate location where. Some action takes place. When Japan has. When, okay, when Japan has only wa and Japan is just a subject. Okay, let's see. Nihon wa. Okay, Nihon wa. Chi、uh, sai. Uh, Kuni des. Japan is a small country. Nihon wa chisai kuni des. But when you want to say some particular action is taking place in Japan, you use de wa. Nihon de wa. Nihon de wa. Wa. Oh, Nihon de wa. Hashi o su. Sukaimas. In Japan, I use chopsticks. In this case, you can't say wa because the sentence will follow as. Japan uses chopsticks. Or Nihon wa Hashiro. Okay, yeah. Hashiro su, Sukaimas. Interestingly, the combination of de and wa and ni and wa implicate only in Japan and not other countries. Uh, let's compare the sentences. Nihon de Kuruma ni Norima Norimas. I drive a car in Japan. Nihon de wa Kuruma ni Norimas. I drive a car in Japan. But it implies I don't. 
drive a drive a car when I'm in other countries. So Dewa is implying doing something specifically in that lo location that you're talking about. Well, that that in front of the Dewa. The second sentence does not clearly say I don't drive when I'm in other countries, but people he hear this think so. That's right, because in the other thing we were reading, we are talking about how wa is used for comparison. So, yeah, and Dez used to talk about uh, things that happen at a location. So, you're saying you do something at a country with Dewa, but, and that's in contrast to other places. So, wa by itself just marks the topic, but when you use it with something else, it says you do this in... Specifically there. So, so Niwa and Dewa sort of use interchange the same way Ni and De are. Whether you need a De for it to mark a location or a Ni to mark a time. At least that's the way it's sounding. Okay, okay, now I need to explain the difference between Dewa and Niwa. The particle De is used to indicate location of action. On the other hand, the particle Ni is much more complicated, but is often used to indicate directions. So, Nihon Dewa, Mina Nihongo, is it Nihon Dewa, Mina Nihongo o Hanashimas. In Japan, everybody speaks Japanese. Sounds like it's not the case for other countries. That's right, because we would have just said uh, Nihon De instead of Nihon De Wa if we wanted to just say it without compare contrasting. Versus uh, Nihon Ni Wa. Uh, Iki masen. I don't go to Japan. Sounds like he or she is going to a different place. I can't explain well why, but it's also good to remember that the verbs for exist, iru and aru, takes the particle ni. Nihon Niwa. Let's see. Uh, ra. Right. Ryon. Oh. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan Gaimasen. There isn't any lines in Japan's Ryan. Nihon. Yeah, there isn't any lines in Japan's, but it implies there are in other countries. So Nihon Niwa. Ryan Gaimasen. Versus. See? Nihon ni wa oki o oki na symbol for mountain. How do you say mountain again? Mountain Yeah 
Yama, that's what was what it was, Yama. Nihon Niwa Okina Yama Ga Arimasen There isn't any big mountains in Japan, but there are but there, but it implies, because it's Niwa, that there are big mountains in other countries. See, so I hope this helps. Okay. Oh, that's a really nice post. Okay. So it's basically... Dewa and Niwa are used like ni and de, but it has a comparison uh, background to it. So in this case, Hashira nai de, Gakko no Naka Dewa. Hashiranai de gakko no naka de wa aru aru kana kana ke reba ikemasen. So it's de wa because we're talking about the action of you don't have the choice you of uh, walking, you must walk inside the school, but the, uh, it's de wa instead of de. Because they're contrasting as opposed to other places where you do have the choice to do something besides walking. So... I see it in a day. Gakko no... Naka dewa aru aru kanake reba ikemasen. Gako naka aru kana aru kanake reba ikemasen. Ashira naide. Ima koko ni imas. Hotel wa asoko ni arimas. That is some really good explanations of Niwa and Dewa. I've looked several times and I did not find an explanation that good. Ima koko ni imas. Hotel wa asoko ni arimas. Ima koko ni imas. Hotel wa asoko ni arimas. Watashi wa koko ni imas. Watashi. Watashi wa koko ni imas. Watashi no keitai denwa wa asoko ni arimas. Watashi keitai denwa. Watashi wa 
私の携帯電話はあそこにあります。私の携帯電話はあそこにあります。女の人はここにいます。女人女の人はここにいます。私の携帯電話は。彼女のメガネはあそこにあります。彼女、彼女のメガネはあそこにあります。右に曲がらなければいけませんここで左に曲がってはいけません右に曲がらなければいけませんここで左に曲がってはいけません右に曲がらなければいけませんここで左に曲がってはいけません右に曲がらなければいけませんここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。ここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。曲がれなけ。ここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。ここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。曲がれなけ。み右に曲がらなければ。ここで左に曲がっててはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。右に曲がらな。右、右に曲がらな。ければいけません。ここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。ここで左に曲がってはいけません。右に曲がらなければいけません。右、曲がって、左、曲がらなければ。ここでまっすぐ行ってはいけません。曲がらなければいけません。ここでまっすぐ行ってはいけません。曲がらなければいけません。ここでまっすぐ行ってはいけません。曲がらなければいけません。ここでまっすぐ行ってはいけません。曲がらなければいけません。ここでまっすぐ行ってはいけません。曲がらなければいけません。行って
magara na kereba. ここで食べてはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで食べてはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。食べて、外、行かなければ。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。ここで電話で話してはいけません。外に行かなければいけません。次、ここで電話。ではいやここで電話ではあ、sorry so we're talking about this location so all this going on at this location so we're referenced by で and then this is the more inner sentence ではで、あ、電話では走って And the, so they were talking about speaking on the phone, and they want to contrast it. So they, instead of using de, they're using de wa. And they're saying, you can't, you can't, you're not capable of speaking on the phone here. And that's in contrast to elsewhere. And you have to go outside. But it's dead in both these locations because we're talking about an action at this location, aka here. And then. Oh, let's see. Denwa. Let's see. If I said just Denwa de Hanashite. Oh, that's right. The, the other use for dead. The method for when she do something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's right. Des used for the method for which you do something. So, what are we doing? We're speaking and we're using the cell phone to do it. So, that's why it's de right there. So, Koko de denwa dewa. Hana shite wa ikemasen. Soto ni ikana kereba ikemasen. Soto ikana kereba. Ika na kereba. Ika na kereba. Ika na kereba. Den wa.
この人はジョンです。この人はジョンです。いと。この人は、okay. これは、おらおら、okay. これはジョンの車です。車。これはジョンの車です Kore wa John no kuruma. Okay. Kore wa sumisu. Kono hito wa Rora des. Hito. Kono hito wa Rora des. Kore wa. No. これはウロラの家です。家。これはローラの家です。この人はスミスさんです。この人はスミスさんです。人これはスミスさんの今です。今。これはスミスさんの今です。今もしもし、ローラさんをお願いします。はい、ここにいます。もしもし。ローラさんのお願いします。お願いします。はい、ここにいます。もしもし。もしもし。I heard that、uh, introduction of Moshi Moshi. There was someone trying to, someone made a video trying to talk about where it came from. And、um, uh, the most likely place they found was that、uh, some company in Japan started using it as a telephone greeting and it just caught on. Like they basically instructed their employees to all use Moshi Moshi as a telephone greeting. Uh, it has a lore explanation of、uh, Tanukis,、uh, which, which is like a. which has mythology of like being able to transform into things. Uh, uh, can't say mushy mushy, so you know you're speaking to the actual person you're speaking with because、uh, Tanuki can't be pretending to be them. Which is the lore reason behind、uh, Moshi Moshi. Uh, that's what I remember from that video. It all, I assume they did their research and they got that correct. There's some, some third reason, though, I forgot what it was. Tanuki is also referred to as raccoon dogs if you're not sure what animal that is.
So mushy mushy. Sumimasen ga ima wa koko ni imasen. Sumimasen ga ima wa koko ni imasen. Oh, moshi moshi. Moshi moshi. Joan san wo onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu. Joan san wo onegaishimasu. Sumimasen ga, that's basically excuse me. I think that's being used like a pause word. Ga, sumimasen ga, ima wa koko ni imasen. Now, here does not exist, so he does not exist here, aka he's not here. Right, he's not here right now. Sumimasen ga ima wa koko koko ni imas ah Sumimasen ga ima wa koko ni imasen ima Sumimasen ga ima wa koko ni imasen Sarada o mote kimasta Desato okay Nani o mote kimasta Nani mote Nani o mote kimasta ka Oh Nani o mote kimasta ka Desato o mote kimasta Motte Desato Motte Kimasta Nani o Motte Kimasta Ka Nani o Motte Kimasta Ka Nani Motte Sarada o Motte Kimasta Motte Sarada o Motte Kimasta Watashi wa Kono One Piece ga Hoshi des Watashi wa Kono Jeans ga Hoshi des Watashi wa Kono One Piece ga Hoshi des Watashi Hoshi Watashi wa kono jeans ga hoshi desu. Watashi. Watashi wa kono jeans ga hoshi desu. That's right. She, kono, she's uh, near it. And then jeans, of course, so. Watashi wa ano shatsu ga hoshi desu. Watashi wa ano shatsu ga hoshi desu. Watashi. Watashi wa ano kutsu ga hoshi desu. Watashi wa ano kutsu ga hoshi desu. Watashi. Kore ra no one piece wa takai desu. Kore ra, kore ra. Okay, kore ra, kore ra no one piece wa takai desu. Takai. 
あの腕時計は新しいです。腕時計新しい。あれらの車。あれらの車、オッケー。あれらのワンピースは安いです。安い。あれらのワンピースは安いです。あれらのワンピース、オッケー。これら、オッケー。これらの。車、OK、この腕時計は古いです。腕時計古い。この腕時計は古いです。あの腕時計は新しいです。このこれら、okay、これらの車は白いです。車白い。これらの車は白いです。Then, あれら、あれら、OK、あれらのワンピース、no. あれらの車は赤いです。車赤い。あれらの車は赤いです。車はここにあります。ボールはあそこにあります。車。車はここにあります。ボールはあそこにあります。しこのボールは黄色。Okay. 車はここ。ボールはここにあります。車はあそこにあります。車。ボールはここにあります。車はあそこにあります。ボールはここにあります。このボールは黄色です。このボールは赤いです。あのボールは黄色です。赤い黄色。Remember, this is a symbol for color. And this is used with this symbol to make the symbols for yellow. このボールは赤いです。あのボールは黄色です。このボールは
Okay, now, uh, Kono boru wa, yeah. Kono boru wa kiro desu. Ano boru wa akai desu. Kiro, akai. Kono boru wa kiro desu. Ano boru wa akai desu. Pen wa arimasu ka? Watashi no megane wa doko desu ka? Pen wa koko ni arimasu. Pen wa arimasu ka? Watashi no megane wa doko desu ka? Watashi. Pen wa koko ni arimasu. Megane wa koko ni arimasu. Megane wa koko ni arimasu. Anata no kutsu desu. Anata no kutsu desu. Anata no koto desu. あなたのコートです。スープです。スープです。もしもし。もしもし Moshi moshi, Rora san wo onegashimas. Onegashimas. Moshi moshi, Rora san wo onegashimas. Watashi des. Watashi des. Hi. Genki desu. Hi, Genki desu. Okay, no. Rora-san. Konnichiwa. That's only G, but this is A, so. Jin. Chi Jendes Oh yes Jendes Dora san Konnichiwa Jendes Yes Jendes Dora san Konnichiwa Jendes Dora san Konnichiwa Jendes O genki desu ka? お元気ですかお元気はい、元気です。元気。はい、元気です。木曜日に私の誕生日パーティーに来ませんかはい、サラダを持ってきてください。何か持って行ってもいいですか木曜日に私の誕生日パーティーに来ませんか木曜日に私の誕生日パーティーに来ませんか木曜日に私の誕生日パーティーに来ませんか。木曜日に私の誕生日パーティ
に来ませんか I always found it strange to ask like that. <laughs> Kimasen. You say Kimasen, and it's things like translate Kimasen. He's not coming, she's not coming. Since there's no noun, it has to just guess a noun. But when you add a ka to it, why don't you come in or. Why don't you come? So, Kimasen, don't come. Why don't come? I guess that sort of makes sense. Mokuyobi ni Watashi no Tanjobi Pati ni Kimasen ka Kimasen ka Tanjobi Mokuyobi Watashi Chi Nanika mote ite moi deska Nanika Nanika mote ite See Nanika something mote have and then ite to go So, aka, bring in something. And then, is good as well? Is it good as well? If I bring something? So, nani ka motte ite moi desu ka? Motte ite nani? Nani ka motte? Oh, that's right. She, she has to answer the question first before she can say that, so... And then, after that question would be, Hi, Sarada o motte kite kudasai. Hi, Sarada o motte kite kudasai. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Hachiji ni koko ni kuru koto ga dekimasu ka? Hachiji ni koko ni kuru koto ga dekimasu ka? Kuru, that, that's right, that's based off of, I saw the root for come. Hachiji ni koko ni kuru koto ga dekimasu ka? Remember, that's the polite, not polite, but the plain, uh, pr present. What was that conjugation? It said, uh, kuru. Right. Yes, kudu. Yes, that's the present indicative plane, kudu. If you remember when we were talking about the concept of something and using ko with a koto, we always talk about it using the present plain in indicative. Or at least that's the examples I've seen so far. Hachi. So. Hachiji ni koko ni kuru koto ga dekimasu ka? 
Dekimas. That's present plain in indicative, or no, present polite indicative of is something possible. So they're asking if the, that concept they say up here is possible. So. はちじにここに来ることができますか。はちじにここに来ることができますか。はちじ。来る。はい、8時にそこ、はい、8時にそこに行くことができます。ありがとうございます。8時行く。はい。8時にそこに行くことができます。ありがとうございます。どういたしまして。じゃあまた。どういたしまして。じゃあまた。じゃあまた。じゃあまた。Are there any questions? If there's no questions, then uh, thank you for coming. Mina san o kiyotsukete. Goodbye, everyone.